Hello, I'm Luke, the Hard Times Guy. What you're looking at here is a little uh, cabinet. You could sit it on a table like it's doing now, or it could be hung on the wall. It's rather primitive looking. Got shelf inside it. Got a punch tin on the outside. Little primitive looking wall hanging cabinet or cabinet you could set on the table. You might notice it says on it Fairview 1869 on the front. And it's got a picture of the old church there. On the back, it says Hard Times Luke. Okay, we're looking at this because this thing is going to be sold at auction Saturday. And it's uh, the Fairview Church. I'm talking about the church that's on the old Leesville Road. Go out 50, about 8 or 9 miles to the road that you turn off to go to Standish Steel or that you go to the Salvation Army Camp. There's a big sign there. Turn right on that road. Stay on that road for about a half a mile, and this church is up on the hill on the left. And they're having, the ladies' aid for that church is having what they're calling a bean supper. It's a dinner where they're going to have all different kinds of beans. They'll have cornbread. They'll have pickles, relish. They'll probably have some hot dogs. They'll have drinks. They'll have desserts. And from 3 o'clock, to 6.30 that day, they're going to have that dinner and serve to me and you and anybody who wants to stop by and fellowship with them and uh, uh, eat beans and other good stuff. And while that's going on, in order to raise uh, revenue for the Ladies Aid projects and their current project right now, uh, much of this money will go to uh, relief for the tornado victims in South Carolina or in North Carolina. So that's what they're doing. They're doing that this coming Saturday. Uh, today's the 24th, 25th, 26th, 26th of October, Saturday, 3 o'clock to 6.30. Fairview Ladies Aid, Fairview Church, uh, eight or nine miles there east of Bedford. Go out 50, turn right on the old uh, Leesville Road. And the church is down there about a half mile on the left. This cabinet and many other items, I haven't seen them all, but there are some really uh, nice handmade items, and other nice items uh, there for sale that day by silent auction. You go in, there will be a sheet here. You've all, you've all done this kind of thing at auctions, at fundraisers, at uh, KSC or the Boys and Girls Club. All kinds of people have auctions like this. You go in, there's a sheet. You sign uh, up and pledge to pay so much and when the auction's over, whoever signed the sheet last and pledged to pay the most, uh, they own the product. This cabinet's for sale. A Hard Times original cabinet uh, built by the Hard Times guy, donated to the Fairview Ladies Aid. Uh, done this for years and years. Built various things, sometimes cabinets like this, and donated them to the Ladies Aid, and they sell them at silent auctions. This Saturday, you got a chance to go there, buy this one. Mark that down on your calendar right now. Saturday, 3 to 6 o'clock. Go out and eat some good uh, beans and dessert and, and uh, enjoy the fall day uh, on a hill. Look at the leaves. Talk to the folks. Uh, I think maybe there's even some music. They're, they're going to have some live music out there. 
don't don't hold me to that. I'm not sure, but I th I think they said that. So go out and see the ladies' aid at Fairview. Uh, participate in their silent auction. Buy this cabinet. If you don't want the cabinet, buy and give it to somebody that does. There's lots of you can find ladies out there that want it. Just ask around, say hey, you want this cabinet, and and uh, bid on it. And if you don't want to take it and keep it, well, you can give it to somebody else. I'm a hard times guy. You have a good day.